walking is not easy down bro i'm traveling right now i'm going to kenya you know to explore this is not a usual video that i do but this is going to be an episode where i just travel everywhere you know in africa showing you some beautiful places nice place to visit and uh if it's something you're interested stay tuned you know what it is Don't judge me, you know. I started vlogging not long ago, okay. So I'm not so experienced, I'm nervous all the time, but you know what? You get better. So, like, share, and what? Subscribe, all right? First thing, I want to try some local foods. I'm very hungry, it's about eight, nine. I need to try some local food. I'm hungry and uh, give it a review. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Like I said, man, we're going to get something to eat. Becky is taking me around. Yeah. I want to try something local. I'm jet lag, I don't feel like sleeping though. I want to eat first and then probably think about something else, content ideas. So, people are actually wearing winter clothes and stuff, <laughs> which is very interesting. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's chapati. Chapati? Yeah, this is oh. chapati. This is samosa. Wow. Eggs. Eggs. And Smoky and of course you buy it for that size. So you, you have to try it. <laughs> you wanna try it? Chapati, maybe next. <laughs> when I'm, when I'm okay. coming back. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can try for a more. Let's go straight. A more developed like place. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this is too local. <laughs> That's local. I can get food upset or yeah. stomach upset. Yeah, yeah, true. This is going to be my first meal in Kenya, guys. It looks nice. She's eating way healthier than I am. I feel bad now. Why did you say it's bitter? Because it has um, a lot of lemon, mm -hmm. a lot of ginger. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very bitter. I see. But this looks definitely less. Thank you. Do I have to use fork? No, you can use your hands. Right. What do you mean? You can. I um. You need to wash your hands, though. I need I think to. You right. can go inside. Inside and wash. Have, yeah. We have something. Yeah. Have, like a sink. Or I wash.
two, less than two minutes. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting. And uh, I'm going around the city, you know, looking around. They're selling fruit right here. Watermelon, oranges, papaw, you name it, anything. And there's chicken right there. I think they're selling them too. And uh, infrastructure in this country is pretty impressive you know very developed just like like any kind any city in china i would say and then the weather here is just like springtime china you know not cold like winter but like sp spring you know cool wind and stuff like that and everybody's just in hello everybody's just in their zone man you are chilling you are not hyper like Ghana people are just chill, calm, focus on their business, whatever they are doing, and then just, you know, going. So I find it very impressive. Do you have something to say to people in Ghana? I say hi to Ghana. I know some, uh, you know Kobyanan is coming from Kobyanan, yeah. I know Kobyanan. Wow. Uh, how, do you, how do you know Kobyanan? He is the one who was the UN chairman. Yeah, and he came here to mediate uh, our problem to uh, to uh, to uh, to seven. Yeah. Wow. Then we have a problem with the government. Yeah. And that's the time I know him. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. He knows about Kofi Annan, guys. Wow, interesting. A lot of people know so much about Ghana in Kenya. Yeah. I find it very interesting. We have people who are playing football. Football, yeah. Oh, so you follow Ghana football too? No, we're in Europe. Europe? In okay. England. Okay, okay. So, oh, wow. So that's Ghana. Mm. Even Cameroon. You know Cameroon, Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria, you know people, uh, many people know Nigeria because yeah. Here, there are many. There are many Nigerians here in Kenya. Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. He's telling me Nigerians are corrupt. Some of them. <laughs> no, yeah, but when you get three of the three of the ten, uh -huh. you get corrupt. You know you cannot talk about seven. <laughs> Nigerians about Niger. Do you trust like a white man more than Nigerian? You cannot say you can trust it because when you have uh, white people, they mm -hmm. have a business here. Mm -hmm. Many of them, they have a business. Mm -hmm. They are doing, uh, they are working they are mm -hmm. in, a, in a white uh, company. Uh -huh. And you know, when you are somebody is employed, you must respect it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you are colonized by British. Mm -hmm. And when you are colonized by British, after that, mm -hmm. they have the big land here. Mm -hmm. We have uh, industry, mm -hmm. so they employ many of us, mm. but not of us, our fathers. Mm. I see that's a Chinese shop, right? Yeah, there's a niche, it's a niche restaurant, mm. and the shop, even here, it's another here, another one here. Wow, it, it seems like Chinese are everywhere in Kenya and Nairobi. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. uh, in 2005, we migrated with Japanese uh, Chinese. They build a very big, a very good uh, road. Mm. After that, they start building this building. Mm. But we never had any case of a building which was built by Japanese. Mm -hmm. It have a problem with the crack or mm. such a thing. Yeah. So the many people are using Japanese to build because we are using in our country. We are you mean Chinese or Japanese because they are different. <laughs> We are talking about Chinese. Chinese, yes. And Japanese, yeah. even Japanese, they are, we have it here, but not more than, not more. Like, okay. But the Japanese came here before Chinese. Chinese, okay. Yeah. That's why, because every building that I'm seeing here is like China style. And yeah. if you've lived in China, yeah. you know this is how they build. And then everything, like most of the buildings are like Chinese buildings. Yeah, they, they, they are, those are people who are building here. Mm. And I think even building, they are cheaper. It's cheaper to build. Yeah, they are building a cheaper. In a, you know, when you are using a technology of British technology, mm -hmm. it is very expensive. It's very expensive. Okay, yeah. yeah. I see. Wow, interesting. Yeah.
There's a roadside food here. Roadside food, right? Hello. I need to try one of the street food too. Um, do you recommend I try street food or still dangerous? Ah, it's not too dangerous. It, it matters how you, which food you, are you normally use. I'm not used to any Kenyan food. I'm now going to try for the first time. But if you are not used to use this food, sometimes it can give you a problem. But sometimes. If you normally use it. Mm. That you see that is egg mm. treated by a, a, a that is tomato. Mm -hmm. Wow. You make a like sausage. You have a sausage. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about me. It's about me. It's about me. Today is my second day in Kenya and uh, first thing go to the gym and then have some energy for the rest of the day. So she's going to take me out to a very nice place, you know, like a coffee shop. Um, maybe we try some fruits, um, you know, show me around and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm on my way right now. I'm in an Uber. I'm probably 10 minutes away. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. And uh, if it's your first time here, please guys, don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe. Always comment down below what you want to see me do. And then I'm going to do it. And remember, I'm going to Tanzania. So I'll be in Tanzania, Zanzibar, and then I would leave to Senegal, Dakar, and from Dakar straight back to Ghana. So whatever activities you want to see me do in all these countries, please comment down below and I'll try my best to do it. So yeah, let's get it. All right, enjoy the streets of Nairobi. Exploring, trying you know new food, and I will go to like the animal park on Monday to do a game drive. Is Nairobi a Christian country? Uh, it is mixed up. Mixed up. Yeah. Okay. So there's no any dominating religion here. Which one is dominating? Christianity or what? Muslim? Yeah, Christianity. Christianity. Okay. Muslims are few. A few. Okay. One thing about Kenya is everywhere is developed. <laughs> Nairobi. Mm. You would go around a block and you see nice buildings everywhere. 
you keep going nice roads and it never gets finished right but if you're coming from ghana you know that when you leave the nice neighborhood the road gets finished too <laughs> and you go back on a rough road but here in nairobi uh -huh. every, everywhere is paved and, and coated uh -huh. which is pretty pretty impressive and uh, i'm surprised i didn't i didn't expect kenya to be this developed to be honest To try going to Tanzania by road. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Yeah, Tanzania is not uh, very far from here. It's not, right? Mm. I want to take the bus and see how it is. Yes. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's on my bucket list, guys. Advise me. Is it a good idea for me to do it? If it's not, please let me know. Uh, it is good idea. It's a good idea. Okay. My Uber guy said it's a good idea. So I think I'm gonna do it. And guys, wish me luck. So when we get to Zanzibar, expect good, good videos, nice drone footages. Actually, I'm not allowed to fly my drone in Kenya, mm. which is so sad. I have this small drone that has a camera. Mm -hmm. It goes very high in the sky and take nice pictures. Mm -hmm. But in Kenya, they don't want us to do that. So I'm not, I'm not gonna fly drones here. You're gonna enjoy the vlogs, but in Zanzibar, Tanzania, in Zanzibar, Tanzania, you're gonna enjoy like nice drone footages and stuff like that, so stay tuned. But the driver just told me that most of the roads and infrastructure are built by the Chinese. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty impressive. And I think they've turned the whole Nairobi into like a major city. Any major city in like any developed nation, you know. And I'm like, hmm, is this good or bad? <laughs> I don't know what your opinion, but it's beautiful here. Traffic light works, unlike some other countries that I know. <laughs> Everything works pretty much, you know. And um, I'm surprised, I'm impressed to be honest. But not so happy when I think about the fact that it was built by someone else, but not Kenyans. But well, maybe they have a game plan, who knows, right? So it's, so it's a bitter truth that I have to <laughs> I have to say, but that is the truth, and I'm like, wow, impressive. Oh, yeah, I am very impressed. Tell them what we're going to do today. So today we're going to go to town and I wanted to take him to Slee as well because it's such a cultural difference and I don't think it's similar to Ghana. Yeah. So I want to take him to Slee for him to experience the other side of Kenya. It's so crowded and super congested so he might be up for a fright, I don't know, but <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm down for it, let's do it. Alright, All right, let's go. Crossing road in Nairobi is just an adventure. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And I was told to watch my phone because someone can snatch it. Yes, 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 yes. Look at me, I've got a whole lanyard. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like me coming from Accra, mm -hmm. we know how the hassle is. So we can spot the people from afar. Yeah, you have to be very street smart here. Very, yeah. very. Guys, when we get to the restaurant, we will record again. So yeah, this is the inside. 
I'm gonna end up eating yours and you're gonna eat mine. Hey, let's swap. I'm down. <laughs> I'm gonna eat yours. It's nice. Isn't it? mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good. Gladly. So. She made me try fish and chips for the first time and I'm going to give you the feedback what I think of it. Wait, did you dip the fish in the tartar sauce? Be honest. Really? Okay, try some of mine. I like spicy stuff. But here's Tabasco. It's not the same. Good, right? I like this better. <laughs> You're joking? <laughs> You're joking, really? You don't like barbecue wings? No. Oh. It's not the flavor that is, not the spices that I'm sensing. Yeah, I like sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Anyways. That is so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the car is outside here. Alright, I'll call you then. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, you are so smart. You're the first person that's done this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for people not to make the mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in an Uber right now. We're going to an event. We don't know what the event is about. We're just, we're just going. We're tomorrow. just going. <laughs> so when we go and we like it, we stay. If we don't, we just go somewhere else. Okay. Go back to our usual plan. I'm talking to the camera, don't worry. <laughs> so what do you do is protection? For protection, I just breathe in gold that will protect me. Oh, I love that, love that, love that. Oh, I like that. That's the other shopping center right there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. But what about the artifact? What's that? Right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that one. Yeah, so they basically make things by hand. <laughs> The 
are selling sunglasses Hello. right there. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look. Let's see. Hey, hi. Hey, how are you? Fine. Do you have the alien sunglasses? <laughs> Uh, wait, look at the new one. This one is a witch? No, no, no. Something that, that looks like that one. Uh -huh. But a far extended one. This oh, is one. That would look nice on you. Not so really. This? No. These are the. No. Are you it's a no. Mm -hmm. okay. What's your name? Six. Ron. How much is it like the jackets? Jackets? Uh, jackets? Uh, the 3.5. 3.5? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. If you have a design in mind, you can customize for you because oh, right now you can do everything right here. No, no, we can like two days. Two days, okay. Yeah. Because these are all customized. Customized. Yeah. yeah. I see. Bandanas, all of them. Oh wow, dashiki. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. that? It's a it's a bandana material. Bandana, okay. Yeah, different bandana materials. And this is this is acrylic. How long paint. does it take you to do this? this? About this took me like uh, about a day. A day. Yeah. You nice. make this yourself. It's really nice. Yeah. I think I would like it, James. The, do, you, do you guys take POS? Oh, only POS, like a card? No, okay. Okay, no worries, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come around again. Do they have cool stuff, man? Eh? What? They have really cool stuff. They do. Oh, I like your outfit. Thank you. That's, that's nice. <laughs> I made it myself. Really? Oh wow. That's amazing. Santi, uh, what did I say? I was saying, oh, the water there is boiling, so I'm going to the bar. Hi. You look familiar, the guy. It's guy. Go for guy, man. You look familiar, dear friend. Huh? Hi, guy. Hi, you're right. I'm Ray, what's your name? Get, get, take us some nice picture. No worries. Sunglasses on or off? Yeah. Let's put it on. Guys, tell me what's going on here. What are you selling? Made it everything by yourself, yes. I'm an artist, so I paint. So these are all the paintings I've made in the last year or so. Wow. And um, I've turned some of my paintings into merchandise, like wow. the Angolo collection and the Shift collection. Wow, that's smart. Do you have an a NFT? No. <laughs> you should get an F NFT. How do people find you on Instagram and stuff if you want to buy? It? Shop at Chieng Uwira for the merchandise and for the art. It's sold by a Chieng. Okay. Yes. Well, can I get a card? Um, you can get the bookmark. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. I don't have a Zoom camera. Oh, you start. One, two, one. Oh my God, I'm in can you say that again? Now. Huh? Welcome to Nairobi. Oh. Welcome to Kenya. Karibu oh. Nairobi. <laughs> I like your vibe. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You. Let's get you. Guys, I'm enjoying Nairobi because of these guys. Mimi, want me to buy a man sunglasses? That's the problem. <laughs> uh, you find somewhere. I love it. I've made since I started. <laughs> do you do like, exhibitions and stuff? Yeah, I, I do exhibitions. I do like auctions. I've done auctions between Kenya and the US. I've done exhibitions here in Kenya. I have one coming up for the affordable art show. I don't know if you know it. It happens at the museum. So it's like a two. It's a three-day art show. Mm -hmm. There's the opening night and then two days that uh, in Kenya. In Kenya at the museum. When is it happening? It's happening when October. From the twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah. So even her, she's an artist. This is some of her artwork. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Her style is called pointillism. So oh, and that feels really nice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Feels nice and looks nice. Mm. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Wow. Thank you. Now you guys are so talented. I'm definitely coming to that store. Karibu yeah. Sana. Thank Karibu. you. So the 27th of October. Yes, it's at the museum. It's a big art show. You'll see so many Kenyan creatives. It's actually East African creatives because there's artists from Uganda and Tanzania. Yeah. Okay. Did you make that earrings and stuff by yourself? Yes, this is actually something I'm working on. Okay. It's a new product I'm working on. So. We've not perfected it yet. It looks beautiful. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's this is brass, but yeah. I want to do them like gold plated and silver plated. Oh wow! Yeah, so I'm just yeah. trying to get the quality. You're really, really like creative. Okay, isn't one it? thing I definitely wow. want a bag. Yes, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> like a souvenir, right? <laughs> yes, I love that color as well. Yeah, and it's easy to maintain because it doesn't need to be washed all the time. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that. Awesome. So I